view the hijab ban in the state. Ex-Chief Minister has hit out at the party saying it's a retrograde step and the matter is still in court. Listen in to what Mr. Basraj Bomai, the BJP leader and the former CM said. See, that, uh, see there, that's, that's what we were alleging during this thing. This is a reverse gear, uh, there will be reverse gear government if it comes. And that's exactly they are proving our allegations. It is a retrograde steps these people are taking. This will not do anything good for the progress of the state, nor for good governance. Hijab matter, you remember it uh, sprung up about a year ago. And then there were large-scale protests that were seen in different parts of Karnataka, in Udupi, in coastal Karnataka region. There were various parts where, 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 where these protests were seen. Then the matter reached the High Court. It was argued and it was questioned whether hijab is an intrinsic part of Islam and whether it can be protected. Where the state government was right in bringing out that notification that allowed the school authorities and the local administration to ban the use of religious attire or hijab in school premises, the Karnataka High Court gave the verdict in favour of the state government and allowed that notification to go ahead. The Supreme Court gave a split verdict and in that scenario, it's the High Court judgment which is good in law unless something else is decided by a larger bench of the Supreme Court. Harish with us on the broadcast. Harish, it's a deja vu. It seems like once again the hijab matter is going to dominate politics and in fact it's issues like these that the Congress party was running away from when the campaigning was happening. They said we want to focus on governance. Absolutely. Uh, even in the beginning of this government tenure, uh, the Congress was very clear that they want the focus to be on the five guarantees that they've given and show people that uh, they've delivered on all those five guarantees that they spoke during uh, their campaign tenure. Now, on the final day of this three-day session, you have uh, the Congress ministers coming out and speaking about this. Uh, it's not very clear if Sidramaya is on board or if DK Shukumar is on board uh, about this issue. They haven't spoken yet or if it's the personal opinion of some of these MLAs. But it would be a difficult task for uh, the state government to go back on this. Uh, they can probably roll back the order that the previous government had given. Remember, uh, this is now landed up before a larger bench and there are several aspects uh, that have been uh, discussed in the previous uh, Supreme Court bench, uh, whether uh, hijab can be allowed in certain public places, uh, the role of hijab in Islam, what does the religious scripture say there, all these aspects have been decided and these aspects have wider ramification. So the Supreme Court, perhaps the larger bench will once again uh, discuss all these issues, there will be argument, perhaps there the state government can change its argument from what we've already seen uh, in the Supreme Court or here in the High Court in the same case earlier. But it would be difficult for uh, the government to completely do a U-turn here, uh, apart from rolling back uh, that particular order. There's well, nothing much that the state government can do. Remember? Uh, well, yeah, Harish, if you, if you ask me, I, I can tell you that there are various examples that in cases like these, the notifications or the executive orders passed by the government have been withdrawn. It has been done earlier. And as my colleague Harish was pointing out, that BJP argues it's not so simple. You can't just simply make a U-turn. But with the, with the Karnataka High Court verdict standing in favor of the government and the Supreme Court del delivering a split verdict, and right now the matter is not being argued, yes, one option is that the government can change its position before the court and the option of completely withdrawing that executive order also lies before the government. Harish, uh, these are just statements that have come out in the public domain. Uh, domain. Any real indication of an executive order being taken back? Are you, are you sensing anything of that nature? Well, uh, not really. At least at the government level, that thinking hasn't happened. Right now, the focus is to get a cabinet uh, and ensure that the portfolios are allocated. Remember, the statement has come in from Ene Harris, who is still not in the cabinet. Uh, Priyank Kargya has said we are committed to rolling back some of these legislations uh, which are against people. Uh, He's a minister, but we do not know yeah. what's the portfolio he'll get. Uh, perhaps the government will wait for allocation of portfolios and then uh, gather the thinking within the cabinet, what the chief minister and the deputy chief minister want, and then probably move on it. And also they'll have to talk to the AG. Remember, there's a legal angle involved here. Yeah. Uh, the uh, government can't decide arbitrarily. Uh, they have a new AG as well. So it will take time for uh, the opinion to get formed and perhaps then the government will decide how they want to proceed on this further. Let's see whether they walk the talk, whether they actually revoke that ban